All right, guys, it is Saturday, and I was going to go fishing today, but it's really windy out. So, uh, fly fishing, it gets a little difficult when the wind's really blowing. And it's only about mid 40s. And for me to really be able to do it, I'd have to get in the water a lot more than I want to at this temperature. So, big change of plans for today. We are going to go do some scouting. Um, I'm going to show you a chunk of woods. That chunk of woods is uh, state land that can be hunted. Um, I'm only about a half a mile from my house. So up on the top of the ridge and we're gonna go in there and we're gonna look for turkey sign and deer sign I mean deer hunting season is not until the fall but spring turkey is coming up I've got a couple of game cams and we're gonna get in there and see if we can see any sign uh, once again uh, if you'd like please hit that subscribe button and, and hit that like button down in the show notes and leave a comment uh, this is not a how to scout for turkeys or deer this is me trying to learn how to be a better hunter and provider for when we get down to our homestead and I am certainly open to any suggestions or if I think a, a deer scrape is a turkey scrape feel free to let me know or vice versa um, leave a comment I'd love to hear from you I'd love to answer any of your comments hit that like button hit that subscribe button thanks a lot let's go for a walk in the woods This is the kind of thing I'm looking for, guys. You see this right here? How this is scraped out. And then right there. That's pretty fresh. Now I'm looking around for some sign of turkey scat. see well that's encouraging that's our first sign let's keep going I just came across this in this little nook of this tree and I'll bet you any amount of money somebody brought these out here to sit on while they went hunting.
We set up a game cam there. Right out through this little bit of clearing right here. There's all kinds of scrapes. Our game cam is right through there on that tree. So we'll leave that out here for a couple of weeks. There's like six or seven scrapes. A couple look fresh right in this area, so. So, we'll leave that out here for a couple of weeks. We're gonna mark it on my phone where it is. It's locked in. And then we're gonna continue heading south. That's your classic deer rub. That's not too old. I marked it. All right, guys, so we're about, we're about uh, two thirds of the way of this circle that I'm trying to go on. I've seen quite a bit of deer sign. Just that one scrape so far, but a lot of a lot of deer poop, deer scat everywhere. We're headed into the wind now. I'm in a pretty good loop going that way. And we're in this mountain laurel, I'll show you. guys can see this stone stack of stones right there I hate to call it a stone wall anymore because I know it's not an actual wall it's just a pile of stones and uh, we're gonna follow that out this way that's gonna take us back out to the road now there's a road this way it's about it's about 175 200 yards that way so we're kind of parallel on that road there but we're gonna go right through here hopefully we can find our way through maybe we'll see something I've seen some sporadic what I'm thinking is turkey scratchings um, that one big group that I found over on the other side, I put a trail came up for. I don't know that it's necessarily worthwhile to put a trail cam up for just one scrape. I'm kind of looking for a patch of them like, like before. And we'll set up another trail cam. So let's get going and we'll see what we can find. Look at what I found guys right there that is an old school deer stand from way back in the day so somebody thought this was a good area to hunt at one point Let's see what else we can find. You can see it right there. That's a more modern tree stand. That's been up there for a while. I remember seeing that back during hunting season. So whoever put that in there, they're not moving it very much. It looks pretty rusty actually. 
but that's a good looking stand that's not a bad one man stand it is what it is all right guys we're gonna head down this old cart path and circle past this laurel let's see what we got here You know what this is? This is a deer stand that came down with that tree. Which means that's been abandoned here for a while. Let's take a look at it. Look at that thing. This tree's been on the ground for a long time. Looks like we have a water source right here. Coming down. And look at that. That looks pretty fresh to me. Still looks moist. I'm sure I'll see a lot more sign along this water source. This is that water source. I'm gonna check the phone and make sure we're in a huntable area, but if we are, I'm gonna put a trail cam up here. So let me check that all out, cause I see something right off that way. I wanna make sure, I wanna make sure what it is. You can see it's right there. It's overlooking this water source. There's a bunch of little scrapes and scratches. So, that's the head, that's a spring. There's no water up that way. So that flows all year long. I've seen that water all through here. So, we should get some stuff on this trail cam. We'll leave it out for a couple of weeks, see what we get. All right, let's make our way back out to the road. All right, guys, we're almost out to the road. You can see it. The road's right out there. But look at that. That's a big pile. That's a big pile. All right, we're gonna get back out to the truck. There's a house over there. And we'll check in with you when we get there. All right, guys, we're back out on the road. You can see my truck right down there. So that wasn't too bad. There's some sign in there. I think it's gonna be all right. We'll see what those game cams have to offer. But um, we'll come back in a couple weeks and we'll check those. So we'll get back to the truck get offloaded but once again everybody hit that subscribe button that's our logo it's right down there and if you can hit that like and leave a comment it helps with the algorithm that YouTube uses and it helps us to get our videos out there and get more subscribers and more views and hopefully we can turn this into something that is helpful to others 
who are thinking about getting into homesteading or hunting or canning or just living a simpler life. I really like to thank you for watching. And once again, if you like these videos and you find them interesting, share them with a friend. All right, everybody. Bye-bye.